What's up, people? We got this um, Toyota Tacoma. It's a beautiful little pickup truck. We're doing the valve cover gasket on it. Um, this one is a 2005 with a 2.7 liter in it. And um, it came in because it was leaking pretty bad from the valve cover gasket. Um, it was leaking, if you can see, all back here down onto the exhaust in this back corner you see how the engine is like slanted tilted this way down so that's why these bottom corners over here where the most heat builds up and the engine being slanted down is always where they leak most of the time so yeah we're gonna do the tune up on it and uh we got that off we're gonna get it cleaned up I was looking inside at the chain and the tensioner in there. And so far, I mean, it looks tight. It looks, it looks, it looks good. There's a little bit of play in it. This car has like 78,000 miles, but it's in pretty good condition. If you look inside the actual engine, it's pretty clean in there. So they've kept up with the oil changes throughout the life of this truck this is what you want to see like a pretty gold color with no sludge at all so the oil life of this truck has been good um we're gonna keep it good by taking care of it this is its first major tune-up so uh we're gonna we don't have any bad coils we'll replace coils later if we need to right now we're doing spark plugs and this um truck came with Originally, Denso Iridium spark plugs. This thing was running pretty lean, as you can see. So, we're going to put some fresh plugs in it. And um, the throttle body was dirty. Um, if you look over here. And the throttle body. And that's this is after I've cleaned it. This is after I've vacuumed. This is after I've blown everything out. You know, this is pretty bad. If you look closely, I don't know how close you can see in the video, but this is after I vacuumed. This it's like it's like a dog was living in here. It has like some sort of dog hair, some sort of fuzz. All over the place. It's it's it was everywhere. It was all over the hoses on both sides of the engine. If you look close at the throttle body, you can see it there also. Uh, looking down over here, you can see. It just had like hair everywhere. I don't know why, but whatever. So anyways, we got that all cleaned up, vacuumed up for now. This one is a stick shift Tacoma single cab on some big wheels so it sits up a little bit taller um these are the denso part number for them they are the denso iridium long live this is what was in it that's what we're putting back in it oem crap nothing cheap pcv valve Wix air filter. Uh, we'll do the serpentine belt. I got parts for another car laid out. So one of the belts is for this truck. One of the belts is for another car. I'm working on more than one car here. Um, one of the my one of the um, cabin filters. Stumbling on my words here. Late at night, tired. It's for the truck and one's for the other vehicle. We have the Wix air filter. I'm a big fan of Wix filters. I've done the research and uh, I've tested them thoroughly. Done my research on them and Wix makes the best filters there is. I crack them open, I cut these filters open, inspect them inside. I see the way their paper filters hold up. You have your regular Wix and you have your XP Wix filter, which is uh, extended performance. You have your cabin air filters, Wix fuel filters. Wix is top notch, y'all. So, anyways, moving on from the 
wicks stuff to uh throttle body gasket um fuel injector o-rings valve cover gasket uh i like this high mileage stuff as you can see i bought i got one for three different vehicles i'm not putting all three in this one vehicle but this is a high mileage gas additive that um seafoam makes so i really like it we'll put that in the gas tank because this has a non-serviceable fuel filter so we just add it additive to the gas tank here you're looking at the oil and we're going to use a 5w30 full synthetic high mileage has 78,000 miles high mileage is anything with 75 or more uh so we're going to use that and we are going to use that GO5 80 by 90 gear weight oil. And we got one for the rear differential and one for the manual transmission. So manual transmission, rear differential, engine oil. We'll do all the fluids in that. Engine filter, cabin filter, valve cover gaskets, throttle body belts, spark plugs, oil filter. Um, we'll be doing all that tune-up related stuff we do have a set of wipers also for it these are your rain guard beam blade by trico and what i like about these is they don't have the metal frame creating pressure points they're like the Rainex, um Bosch, the other aftermarket ones. This is a, a generic version of that, but amazing. I like them. I don't care if there's a generic version. I think they're better than the regular ones Bosch makes. This is your regular wiper. It has the pressure points, you see, here and here, where where and it's supposed to bend there but it really bends very little when you pick it up it stays pretty straight the other wipers when you pick them up they they bow in they hug the windshield better and um in storms at high speeds on the highway they just handle better um so yeah and they're lighter anyways here's the valve cover uh vvti 2.7 toyota valve cover and the side that was leaking the most was this side i don't know how well y'all can see that this is the back side here the hardest bolts to get to are the three in the back you have a harness that comes over all this you have a hose that comes in here for the pcv valve and it, it's on a metal line with a rubber 90 degree bend and it bolts into the back of the head so you want to make sure you loosen that that's a 12 millimeter with a ratchet wrench and then you'll be able to back this hose off this is the pcv positive crank ventilation valve we'll be replacing that and that helps uh relieve positive crank case pressure but also keep the air filter cleaner and the emission system happier um this will end up getting clean thoroughly i don't know if you can tell how dirty it is it's black and this iphone xr camera is honestly a disappointment in my opinion but you can uh, you can kind of see just how dirty this thing is so this will get a nice little bath uh it'll get the 5w30 synthetic it'll get put back together now here's where the spark plugs tube seals go and you can see this gasket is pretty hardened it doesn't want to come out easily it's going to make me fight it to get it out there it goes it's pretty hard so you pull that out if you notice here and here are the only two spots where they put some gook. And this is Toyota from the factory. I, I, 75,000 miles, nobody has ever replaced this valve cover gasket. 78,000 miles. 
So Toyota did this. You see how this RTV pancaked on the inside? Well, eventually this will come loose and float inside the engine and get stuck somewhere. So I like applying this RTV in those two corners. I know why they do it. It's important to do it. But not to where stuff like that's going to pancake and float inside of your engine and cause a clog and a problem. And this is Toyota that did it, guys. This is factory stuff, you know? So it's not some shade tree mechanic that did that. I'm just real careful. They only did it on this side. They gooped it on that side. They didn't. I believe, you know, you put a little bit, but not enough to where a whole bunch of it pancakes out and hardens up like that and eventually breaks off. And this is your valve cover gasket, as you can see. See how it breaks? It's like so dry and brittle like that. So all that's got to get like dug out plucked out it's not the easiest to do but it needs to be done so yeah that's not going to be fun to get out of there that's going to be quite the chore but that's what we're working on getting that out what i do is i let it soak in gasoline i fill up a tub and i let it sit overnight in gasoline gasoline eats up that rubber softens it up and then tomorrow it comes right out tricks of the trade you can thank me later um again like i said if you're gonna work on it make it look like you worked on it i like to clean everything up as much as i can so there's a lot of cleanup i have to do around the edges of all this uh, i already cleaned his engine bay underneath the air filter box Ooh, tired y'all excuse me and uh all the leaves and everything up here i like to keep everything clean we're gonna clean this even more but um yeah, the goal was take this apart so that I can sit in gas overnight. I'm going to drain the manual transmission and drain the rear differential tonight so that this Tacoma can get a good drain overnight. And then tomorrow, I will pump it full of fluid, uh, pump it full of the GL8090, and then refill it tomorrow and by then that gasket should be ready to come off um so tonight is drain take apart clean tomorrow is pick up where we left off and begin the the reassembling process um i don't like to leave spark plugs out and the engine exposed i will put the new spark plugs in before i go to bed tonight and I will cover this with something tonight since the valve cover will be sitting in, in uh, gas. Most likely this towel will be sitting over it. Um, tomorrow I'll remove the throttle body, do the same thing, clean the backside of it, clean the whole outside of the throttle body, and put a new gasket and put it back. That way you have good operation of the butterfly inside of that throttle body, which uh, you can see I have a rag there just to protect it from when I was blowing the engine with the blower but you can see all that dirt building up in there and across the top and that means that the back side of that butterfly is black like the black you see wanting to creep through it's not gold like this so we're gonna make it gold on both sides front and back get it nice and clean again he's low on brake fluid i mean he's low on all kind of stuff his battery's looking pretty hurt it needs to be uh, cleaned up. It's all dirty. We're going to hit it with a metal brush and clean all this up for him. Get a good solid connection again. Yeah, it's just pretty much uh, top end tune up and lower end tune up. Uh, we are doing the belt. You can see it's pretty frayed and old. I don't know how well this focuses, but these things, especially in the heat, once they've been on like this, 78,000 miles, they snap. This is an original belt, never been changed. So he'll be getting the new belt, the fresh oil, you know, the whole tune up. So, anyways, I don't want to bore you all with it. This is just the first video, the teardown video. Um, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I'm tired.
as you can see, tiredness. That's what tiredness looks like. So we're gonna put some gasolina out and um, fill that, fill this bucket that I have up over here with gas. So we'll put some gas in there. We'll let it sit inside of there, fill it up with just enough gas to where the um, the bottom of the gasket, all this area is submerged in gas and uh, it'll sit in here overnight. And there with some gasolina to about right here and you're like, man, then you're gonna waste brand new gas on that? You must be a baller. Nope, it's not even like that, homie. It's not even like that. I keep some gas from when like I do a fuel pump on a customer's car. And sometimes, you know, you, um, you do a fuel pump on a customer's car and then you gotta take the gas out. So I, I keep some of that gas that I don't wanna put into his, back into his car with a brand new fuel pump. And I keep that gas there for that reason because i know little by little i'll use it i'll keep it in that container and little by little i'll use it for the purposes like right now to get gaskets off that have been on there for seventy-eight thousand miles and want to be a pimple on my booty so that's the easy way to get that off anyways um if you don't keep gas like me you might have to go buy some Air filter stuff is all dirty. All that gets cleaned and wiped down. The cabin air filter goes in the glove box. I'll, I'll make more videos. I'll show you all, all that fun stuff. Um, the goal now is soak that valve cover, drain the bottom, and go to bed. I'm tired. And I ate really good tonight, so I'm ready to go to sleep. But this is the new gasket. Pam, pam, pam. Tomorrow we look forward to doing that. We'll put one of those in there. These other jugs are for another car. This is for this car, these three. That belt is for another car. One of the cabin filters is for another car. Y'all get the idea. Oh, last shout out here to O'Reilly's. We are using brake parts cleaner to clean everything. In case you're wondering what I'm cleaning it with. Other than the gas and a rag and a toothbrush that will already be in there. After that, I spray it down with brake parts cleaner. To make sure I get everything off. And uh, obviously you don't want to waste brake parts cleaner unnecessarily. So we hit this with a rag or a piece of sandpaper. We make sure nothing falls inside of the engine. We're very careful about that. That's why I blow everything out before I even take that cover off. So yeah, just be careful. Be careful. Clean, clean, clean and be careful. Anyways. Buenas noches. This is part one. I'll make another video, show you all the progress on this Tacoma. If you have a Toyota Tacoma with a 2.7 and you have some questions, you're planning to do something to it. Maybe it's giving you a problem. Leave me a comment below. And if I can help you, I'll help you. Anyways, God bless y'all to the next video.